Cheers. Okay, I'm gonna out myself. It says Thailand at the top. The beer is good. This episode is nothing but non sequiturs, by the way. It's a fun word. You know the most popular program here? It's, it's WhatsApp. Going to hell for that one. And the diplomatic mission to Alderaan continues. On to Jakarta this week. And uh, I'm here at the Thai Airways Lounge finding a little card greeting me with the Wi-Fi instructing me to go to HTTP, an IP address, slash some stuff, and a login.php. Also, one of the big problems with these captive portals is that on Android systems, or at least on Samsung, which is quite prevalent, you get this little pop-up to sign into the Wi-Fi network, and you'll notice here, you know, I get my, you know, this is the captive portal, or at least it's the one I think it should be. It is an open Wi-Fi network, after all. Uh, there's no URL bar, so there's no way to tell that I'm connected to an HTTP or HTTPS site or that I'm even connected to the network that I think I am. It's like, really guys? You couldn't get a captive portal and it's still HTTP? So it's not just the shit. This is prevalent everywhere. And it will get fixed. We just have to keep breaking it. motorcycle enthusiast, this city is awesome. I love the tiny little displacements and all of these um, mopeds, scooters, motorbikes, motorcycles, whatever have you. I just saw the sweetest uh, CB100 and that's like, that's sufficient, that's big. And yet in the US, the smallest you can buy is a, is a what, a 250? Just goes to show, like, you don't really need that much. And it works here. Then again, I don't know if I'd take that on the freeway. What is this? Sidewalk. Jakarta. trying to make friends with the uh, local cats in my neighborhood. It's a cute neighborhood. Totally different than what I'm used to. Feel like. Getting a little weird looks though. Watch this. I'm just gonna walk right past it. I'm not even gonna stop. I, self control, that's what it is. I don't have to, I can quit at any time. Just don't bother. Here at CGK Jakarta on my way to Bali because once again, Hack Across the Planet is taking me on some business. Monkey business. Also, pro tip this is a really affordable airport to get into and then everything around is super cheap, so don't bother flying straight to Bali. Get, come to Jakarta first. And Pisang Goreng. Believe me. The one time I forget to bring an ethernet cable on the plane. Seriously, that is an ethernet port right there. And I now have to turn in my hacker card for forgetting to bring ethernet. By the way, we actually have really cool new ethernet gear in the hack shop. Check out the little micro switch and all the cool nifty doodads. So once again, Hack Across the Planet. Selamat malam, Bapak Ibu yang terhormat anggota Skytim Garuda Indonesia. Nama saya Rudy Chandra, bersepada penerbangan ini. Serta 
mematikan seluruh telepon genggam Anda selama berada di dalam pesawat. Terima kasih dan selamat menikmati penerbangan ini. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, uh, member of the Sky Team Garuda Indonesia. So once again, Hack Across the Planet has brought me an interesting aircraft. This here is an Airbus A330, which is a really fun love child of two different aircraft. Uh, it shares the fuselage from the A300, which is an early 70s uh, plane that has the distinct thing of being able to claim being the first wide-body two-aisle uh, twin-engine jet. Uh, the other is the A340, which was done in uh, congruent development with this particular plane, which was developed to be a long-haul plane that has four engines, so it doesn't fall under ETOPS regulations. Anyway, it's a fun plane, and I'm geeking out of the planes again, because that's just what I do on this trip. More unabashed love for the Microsoft Surface, and that right there is why. Another pro travel tip here, if you're flying in Indonesia, you have to fly on Garuda Airlines. Like, this isn't an actually an endorsement, this is actually for real, because it is the state-run, uh, government-owned airline, and they don't crash, like, the terrible, this is, like, this region has the worst air safety record. Uh, the other thing is, as you can see from this business class cabin, uh, it is quite empty, which means that is very affordable, like, ridiculous, especially if you're using American dollars. Okay, that's my pro tip. Now I'm gonna go find a seat. Anywhere. Also, they serve bintang. You're gonna want one of those. Cheers. This one to say they didn't have any gin and tonic, but bintang is what's up, and that is not how you pour a beer. Now one more interesting fact about Garuda Airlines, not only are they the only Indonesian airline not banned by the EU to fly in their airspace, but they're also kind enough to provide their patrons with 15 minutes or 10 megabytes of free Wi-Fi access, which is really cool considering it's done by MAC address. Yeah, MAC address. Oh, but to their credit, they do put HTTPS on the captive portal, so that's kind of cool. Now, of course, once you've run out of the free internet access, you'll be asked to pay. Unless, of course, you happen to get a new MAC address. Doing so on Windows can be done with a PowerShell command like set-net-adapter. You specify the name and the MAC address. Or you can run tmac and then just click on the interface and click random MAC address. Now, if you're on Linux, go ahead and install Mac Changer. It's Mac Changer, tack R for random, and then the interface name like WLAN0. And that's also pre-installed on the Wi-Fi Pineapple. And that'll work on any Wi-Fi network that limits usage by MAC address. If you have a great idea, bring it to the web the way Shannon and I do and head over to Domain.com. With an awesome domain discovery service and a quick and easy checkout process, you'll have the perfect site up and running in no time. And the guys over at Domain.com are huge Hack5 fans, which is why HAK5 will save you an extra 20% at Domain.com. Or just send them a tweet and say thanks for supporting Hack5 all these years. So, when you think domain names, think Domain.com. Thank you, bye. Thank you, Trimacacy. And that is Checkpoint Bangkok, Bali. I know where I am. I'm in Bali. I don't, still don't know why. Monkey business. Let's find some monkey business. Did you steal someone's ice cream? Is that your ice cream? 
I don't think that's your ice cream cone. I think that that's a little, little boy's ice cream cone over there. But you don't care. You're a monkey. You, you just don't give a f I haven't even made it to the monkey forest and already I've seen monkeys being a Stole some little kid's ice cream cone. Oh, I might have a hat now. I have a hat now. out of banana is the wrong thing to be in this park. So, so what do you guys think? DNS thing? Monkey in the middle attack? No. Bum. Bad. Bad monkey, that's my water bottle. Well, now you've just gotten it everywhere. Are you done with it? I gotta put that in the recycling. It's not very tasty. Uh-oh. No. <laughs> Smart monkeys steal bananas. Not so smart monkeys steal deodorant and umbrellas and water bottles and plastic bags and anything that isn't a banana and then get disappointed when trying to eat it, find out it is not a banana. This is my pro tip for the episode. You can thank me later. Nope, nope, get off. No bananas.